Hi, my name is Avril Louise Clark, and I am a collaborating sexologist for therapy in Barcelona. Today, I wanted to take some time to talk about mindful sex with you. Mindful sex is something that has been completely transformative for many people's sex lives, especially since we are all living in a very digital age where oftentimes we don't really find ourselves in the moment. Um, this is something that occurs to us throughout our daily lives, but especially in our sex lives as well. So what exactly is mindfulness? What exactly is mindful sex? And how has it changed the lives of so many of my clients? So mindful sex is just like mindfulness because it's all about being in the moment, in the here and the now. So something that occurs to a lot of people is something that we refer to as spectating, right? So this is when you are actually having a sort of um, out of the moment experience when you are having sex. So what does this look like? So spectating could be anything from when you are being intimate with a partner, you start thinking about your body, you get a little self-conscious, you're thinking, is your partner enjoying it? What's going on? Is there going to be an orgasm? Am I pleasuring them? Am I feeling enough pleasure? Uh, do I look okay in this position, right? So these are kind of thoughts that we have in our sex lives and our sexual experiences. And that really takes us away from the moment of what sex actually is, which is being intimate with another person and having fun, giving and receiving pleasure. So the first rule of mindful sex is that it is no goal sex, either through our own sexual education or experiences, or maybe from what we have seen in porn, we are taught that sex must always end or finish in an orgasm whether it's uh you or your partners that there must always be an orgasm for it to be a successful sexual experience so i am here today to tell you that is not true um and the approach of mindful sex is eliminating that goal so there is no end goal in an orgasm so what does that mean sex then becomes more about the moment from the first touch, right? You start to focus on things such as being with your partner, kissing your partner, loving your partner, and it doesn't all become about penetration or ending in an orgasm. Now, some people might say, you know, well, isn't that the main goal? Isn't that the purpose? Don't we want to have that ultimate peak of pleasure? Well, there's many other ways to have and enjoy intimacy with your partner and when you remove that goal you feel less anxiety you feel less stress and in the end most people are more likely to have an orgasm if you remove that pressure of their having to be an orgasm another thing that i wanted to mention about mindful sex is how do we bring ourselves back into the moment? How do we stop all these reoccurring thoughts that happen during sex? So just like in mindfulness, you know, we don't necessarily try to block out all these thoughts that occur. What we do is that we notice them, we give it a little wave and we let it go. So if you're in the sexual experience with your partner, and throughout it, you tend to have those thoughts, you know, uh, you know, maybe it's a little bit insecurities, you know, uh, do I look okay? Is my body okay? I feel a little fat, you know, things that we tell ourselves, which are, uh, not very nice. Right. So instead of really, you know, hamster wheeling with those thoughts, keep on going and making yourself feel bad. You want to realize that you're not being in the moment that you're having these external thoughts and you want to say, okay, hello thought, you can go now, pass it on and bring yourself back into the moment by really focusing on the senses that allows you then to be more present with your partner, feel their skin on your skin, touch their hair, really focus on the sensations of the moment. 
Can you smell your partner? Can you smell the bed sheets? Uh, what kind of things can you focus on that is going to bring you back there? In the end, when we are more present, we are going to experience a better experience with our partners. So I would love for you to uh, take what you can from this and apply it to your sex lives. And remember that all sex doesn't have to be mindful sex, but it is a good way to slow things down and practice being in the moment every once in a while. Thank you.